When DJI first released their FPV system, it was not perfect. But one of the things that has impressed me most about DJI has been their commitment to continuing to improve this system. They just keep putting out new firmware updates with new features addressing so many of the issues that people raised. And today, they have really outdone themselves because their newest firmware doubles the bitrate of their system from 25 megabits per second to 50 megabits per second. And that means way better image quality. You're gonna see for yourself, but I feel comfortable even here in the intro calling it. And what else does it do? Like range, interference with analog? We're gonna cover all of that. I'm Joshua Bardwell and you're gonna learn something today. Folks, I think the best way to appreciate this is to see it for yourself. And so I'm gonna do most of this video just flying and talking. And what you're looking at right now is the way a lot of people normally fly. This is 25 megabits per second. So this is the what, what we had before the firmware update. This is focus mode on. And what you're gonna see is that the edges of the screen start to go blurry before the center. I don't normally fly with focus mode on because there we go, you can see it happening here. I don't normally fly with focus mode on because I'd rather the whole screen go blurry than like the edges. But a lot of people do fly with focus mode on. And one of the things people have wondered is if this new 50 megabits per second will make focus mode uh, like less obvious, make it less focused. So we've got focus mode on just so we can test that out. And this is high quality. So this is, um, I believe high quality is only 60 frames per second instead of 120 frames, only 60 frames per second. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, analog. So we're gonna fly around a little bit. Focus mode in the corners is, uh, I don't know. And what I'm especially wanna do is go and fly through these tree branches and really see like how the details of the pine needles and stuff stand out. This is the kind of thing that can be difficult to do with analog because picking out these details can be tricky, but it's easier to do with DJI. Having said that, I will now screw it up and crash, but hey, what are you gonna do? Um, now you can see, I'm gonna put the, uh, I'm gonna put the stats from the flight on screen, DJI records them as a subtitle track, and you should be able to see the megabits per second, the latency, the and so forth, all the other things down at the bottom of the screen as I fly around. Now this is not bad, but let me let me actually let me switch this to the way that I normally fly. Hold on. Now this is how I normally fly: low latency. That's right. I'll take latency over image quality anytime. Uh, low latency, focus mode off, 25 megabits per second. And what I wanna point out to you before we go sh look at the 50 megabits per second is like when we're flying over a field of grass here and as I get down low, you can see some of the detail on the individual blades of grass. But if you look off in the distance, there's a point where the encoding, the bit rate, just can't handle all that detail and it becomes, it almost looks kind of like foggy, like at, at a little about 25% of the way up the bottom of the screen the grass goes from being individual blades to just kind of being a blocky smear. Well, let's not beat around the bush. This is exactly what I had before, low latency, focus mode off, but now 50 megabits per second. And let me just give you a chance to sort of soak it in. The first thing I notice is that that sort of, well, first of all, up close, there's just more detail. You can just see more of the individual blades of grass as I fly low. And that sort of fogginess where the, gla the grass becomes just like a smear is way further out, way further out, just a lot more detail. And if we fly up through the trees again, let's compare. I'm gonna try and fly approximately the same path, although this is not, um, it's not exactly the same. I believe I came through here. I came around here. I mean, there's really just no question that if you double the bit rate, all else being equal, you're gonna get better image quality, right? That's not really up for debate. 
Well, that was good, but it wasn't actually as good as it can get. This is high quality, 50 megabits per second, uh, with focus mode on, so we can see what kind of effect focus mode has in this higher bit rate. But this is the highest image quality you're gonna see. I definitely still see the focus mode edges coming in, but it's definitely less than it was. And it's, this is really, it's really impressive. Wow. It's, I'm, I've been, I've been flying this for a little bit and I'm still really freaking impressed with what they've done. This is like, this is pretty much what you used to see with a Mobula. Uh, it's an old high def cam for those of you. Oh my goodness, look, look how far out the, the detail in the grass goes. Like you can just see the texture of the grass all the way out to the end of the field. Like I'm not suggesting you can see individual blades of grass, but that cloudiness, where is it? It isn't. I'm so, I'm so impressed. This is really impressive. Like if you're not impressed, this, what you're seeing right now is exactly what I'm seeing in my goggles too. This is the DVR. Like I've seen action cams that produced images like this. The idea that you could be flying at FPV is just mind boggling. Um, let's do a range test. Before I show you the range test, Let's come in here to the bench and talk about how DJI accomplished what they did and what it means for you as a DJI pilot, but also if you're an analog pilot or if you're a DJI pilot who flies with analog pilots, because there's something you definitely need to know. When you talk about the range, the image quality or bit rate of a signal, it sort of makes sense that those two things trade off with each other. If you're willing to have worse image quality, you can get longer range, and that sort of makes sense. But there's a third factor here, and that is bandwidth, the actual width of the signal in the frequency space. And in order to show you that, I've got my, uh, <laughs> got my rapid fire module over there uh, in spectrum analyzer mode, because I don't actually have a full-fledged spectrum analyzer. So right now the goggles are in 25 megabits per second mode and they're on race five or the DJI equivalent. And what you can see is that, look at the width of this sort of hump of energy. Uh, it's going all the way down to race four and maybe up to about race six or race seven. Now watch what happens when I switch it to 50 megabit per second mode. And the first thing some people have noticed is that suddenly there's only three channels. Here's why. Because now the signal has become much wider. So we're no longer centered on race five because the, the 50 mega or 50 megabit per second channels don't exactly overlap, but we're sort of centered on race four and we're going all the way down to race one and all the way up to like race seven. So what DJI has done is they've increased the bit rate and there has to be some other trade-off for that. You can't just go from 25 megabits per second to 50 megabits per second without giving something else up. And what they've given up in order to gain that is bandwidth, the width of the channel. So the channel is wider and carries twice as many bits per second, but it's gonna be twice, it's gonna be much more likely to interfere with analog pilots and so forth. So what's the best case scenario? Well, if I go all the way down to one, or all the way up to three, you can see that when it's at the very, very edge of the, of the frequency band, we have basically channels race one, two, three, four, maybe five are gonna be okay, but then channels six, seven, and eight are gonna be getting slammed. And likewise, if we go down to DJI channel one, you can see race band one, two, three, four, five-ish are getting slammed, and then six, seven, eight, maybe five are okay for analog. Now here's the question I am most interested to answer. If you double the bandwidth of a signal and you double the bit rate, then the range is the same as it was, you just have better image quality. If you double the bandwidth 
and you keep the bit rate the same, you get more range at the, at the worst image quality. So when you're running the 50 megabit per second mode on DJI, do you basically get more range because it could just fail back to 25 megabits per second, but it's still using twice the bandwidth? That's a question that we'll have to answer in a flight test. Oh, what? One bar. So we're at one bar. I see. It's not going to do that, is it? I'm, I'm already at one bar. It's already smearing up. Just drop back. No, it's trying to... It feels like it's trying to sort of hold on. Like, I know I can do this easily on 25 megabits per second. See, now I'm at 20 megabits per second. Well, that seems like a, yeah, 9 megabits per second. It's, it's, yeah, maybe we'll have to run, do two runs. Yeah, no. This is not better than... This is not better. Like, the fact that we've got twice the bandwidth is not helping. It's, it's stuttering. I'm going to see if I can get out of here. The fact that we have twice the bandwidth is not helping us get more range. But there is one way that the range of the DJI system has been improved by this firmware update. Until now, there was a hard limit of about six kilometers, about four miles, where even if you had great RSSI, the, the link would simply fail safe. There was something going on inside the protocol itself that capped out at uh, about six miles. And before you freak out and go, whoa, the DJI is range limiting you. There's no GPS in the DJI air unit. DJI doesn't know your distance from home. The best guess is that it has something to do with the latency of the link. It was just took so long for the signal to travel at the speed of light that this, the, a timer in the protocol was timing out. But that has changed. This firmware update has removed that limit. Here are two posts from two other people going six and 7.25 miles. And uh, so, so that's gone. If you can get the RSSI, you can go further. But I don't recommend that you try to do this with the 50 megabits per second mode enabled because it seems to me like the 50 megabits per second has slightly worse range uh, than the 25 megabits per second. I'm not really sure why. It should just be able to fail back but it does. It seems like it's trying to hold on to the higher image quality and the higher bit rate. And when it can't do that, then you actually get worse range or worse image quality at the same distance. Let's fly it a little bit. This really makes me want to do like moves up in the branches. or down low to the ground. What about through here? Oh, can I fly through here with this increased detail? Oh, I see, I've tried to fly this on analog and it's like just feeling in the dark. You just cannot see all the little branches and leaves. This is, this is so impressive. I'm getting a little bit of stuttering right now. Oh, you can just, oh, see, I can see that. You can just see everything. Oh, this is really impressive. Oh my goodness. This is so, that's so impressive. That's so impressive. I'm so impressed. For this last flight, we're gonna fly how I usually fly, low latency, not high quality, and we're gonna have focus mode off, but we'll be in 50 megabits per second. So let's just do some freestyle. Damn you! I got an ESC that's trying to crap out on me. You piece of garbage. No, oh, now it's working. Okay, let's try again. Let's try again. It'll be fine, it'll be fine, folks. It'll be fine. See, now we're fine. Oh, 
I'm not trying to do anything special. I'm just trying to fool around. Okay, left turns now. Left turn. I don't like that. I didn't like that. Let's go through here. What about through here? This kind of just makes me want to go up into the tree branches. This is like get your quad stuck in a tree mode. 50 megabits per second is you will now get your quad stuck in all the trees mode. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. See, there it was. I was trying to do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear it. Ooh, a little reaction time there. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not like that. Come on, don't, do oh, yeah, yeah, I lined it up right, almost right. Look at those little branches you can see. It's insane. I talked in one of my three packs a day about how there's a trade-off between image detail and latency. That as latency goes up, you become less confident. But as you can see more objects to avoid, you become more confident. And so you could, you could in some sense make up for a higher latency connection with more image quality. And I think this is a fantastic Example of that, uh, uh, how about right, this little gap right here? Sure, I got it, no problem. All right, I gotta bring it in because my battery's dead. Oh, it's really dead. Come on, come back up. 13.6, that's not good. Well, I guess that's it for this pack. I gotta get out of here. D if you have DJI and you haven't done this firmware update, freaking do it. I gotta go. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.